Borussia Dortmund now joins Bayern Munich in the teams eliminated from the DFB Cup already. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to Talking Bayern, the one-stop shop for Bayern Munich content on YouTube. Today will be a very different video. Obviously, we're talking about Dortmund and the DFB Pokal. Obviously, Bayern Munich have lost, you know, last round to Gladbach, so you can't make too much fun of Dortmund. But of course, Dortmund lost to St. Pauli on the road, um, 2-1. Um, obviously, a 2-1 loss on the road is obviously very crushing. And honestly, Dortmund was knocking. I mean, I watched the highlights uh, of the game and I've seen some stats. I didn't watch the full game, but, you know, it looks like Marco Royce had a great chance early on. Um, it looks like Hallen almost had a great pass across the crease, come right to him, but, you know, St. Pauli defender made a great stop. So, you know, Dortmund outshot them 14-7 to with 6-2 to on target. They had 69% possession, so it was definitely, you know, Dortmund's game to win. Of course, that's not how it happens. That's not always the way it goes down. But it's honestly going to be a very interesting cup at this point. We obviously have Dortmund out. We have Frankfurt out. We have um, Leverkusen out. So obviously there's some top clubs in Germany that are already out. Um, so far, the final eight is shaping up um, like Hamburg won, Karlsruhe won, Bochum won, St. Pauli won. And then today, of course, we have Hanover versus Gladbach, Leipzig versus Hansa, Hoffenheim versus Freiburg, and Hertha versus Union Berlin. Um, that will be a great game on the two Berlin games. I didn't even notice that was a matchup. So that will be a very, very exciting match today. Um, so there's definitely some good teams left in the competition, but obviously some big names um, not in there. Wolfsburg, um, another one. And obviously, most importantly, Dortmund and Bayern are out. So it's really anyone's um, cup to win at this point. I think it's going to be really exciting. Um, as much as it, you know, it's sad to see Bayern out of the competition, I think that without Bayern and Dortmund, we're going to see a, a, you know, a new winner here. I'm very excited to see what happens. I'll be watching... Probably as every match I can um, going on forward from the quarterfinals. Uh, I don't know if I'll have any videos on it, but I think it's definitely going to be something exciting to watch. Um, my predicted winner at this point is probably going to be Union Berlin or Leipzig. Uh, but I'd be really excited to see you know a run from like a team like Hamburg. I think that would be really great for them. Um, kind of show you know some a little flashback of the older times. I know there's some people calling for the head of Marco Rose. Uh, I don't know if that's the right call. I mean, obviously, they had a very disappointing Champions League um, season already. You know, considering they didn't make it out of the group stage, um, and honestly, a pretty weak um, group. Obviously, Ajax won it, so you're going to hope you can win that group. I expected Dortmund to, to fully win that group. Obviously, they came third. You're going to see what they're going to do in the Europa League in the next months, but still, you know, I think some people were expecting more from Dortmund this season. Obviously, finishing in the round of 16 in the DFB Cup is by no means a success, obviously, to a team like St. Pauli in the second league. Honestly, there's a lot of second league teams in this cup still, surprisingly, um, probably almost an even number to the teams in the top flight. But it just goes to show, obviously, anything can happen on a certain day. Obviously, we've seen it before. You know, we lost last year in Penn, so, you know, nothing is too surprising anymore. Um, and just kind of wanted to make a video on this, kind of, you know, poking fun of them a little bit, but, you know, I'm refraining from making too much fun of them because, obviously, we lost the round before. Obviously, I'll to a much harder team, that is. But, you know, this is obviously a great display from FC St. Pauli, and honestly, you know, they're obviously a top club in the, the second division, and obviously they're a great club, you know, promoting diversity, you know, that's one of their big missions, so I think that's awesome to see, and you know, it's, they have a, definitely a really solid chance of getting promoted this season, I mean, they are first in the second league, I mean, they have 37 points, or one over Darmstadt, so it's going to be a really competitive race, I think, in the second league this year, I mean, we have St. Pauli, um, Darmstadt, Heidenheim, um, Werder Bremen, Hamburg, and Schalke, all of like 31 points or more, so I think it's going to be a really competitive end. Um, I'm probably going to be wanting to do some more videos on that because I do like to see kind of what the teams are going to play next year in the top flight hour. I hope Hamburg and Schalke come back up. I mean, we haven't seen Hamburg in the Benz again in a long time. Um, well, obviously, this is not what the video is for. Kind of going a little sidetracked now, but I would be surprised to see St. Pauli in the top flight next season. I think that would be great. I don't think they've ever been in the top flight before, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I think that would be awesome to see. I'd be interested to see who everyone thinks is going to win the cup at this point. Obviously, Leipzig still in there, so there's still some big names, but definitely some very, very notable teams excluded from the competition at this point. So let me know who you think is going to win in the comments below, and let me know your thoughts on Marco Rose. Is he doing a good job at Dortmund? Is he doing enough? Should he be sacked? I want to hear your thoughts, so let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more Bayern Munich content like this in the future, please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, mia samia.